Hello YouTube, Tara back. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on this shirt with the cutout collar. Don't mind the mess in the background. It's just in my dining room. It's got my arts and crafts and stuff out. And then it's just a long, long shirt that comes just past my, my uh, waist there. It's just cut out too, and I got a undershirt underneath. If you don't, then it's going to be really low cut to about there, so it's up to you if you want to wear a shirt underneath or not. Um, I guess. Let's get started. So for this project, I'm just going to be using a large black cotton t-shirt. Um, I've got a pair of scissors and a marking pencil. Um, and I will show you what you'll be cutting out, just with this top collar right there. This is the photo that I'm going to be following. I found it on Pinterest. Um, the glare from the window in the background, can't really see, but that's basically what we're going to be doing. But we're going to cut off the sleeves um, and have it not so hanging low. We'll have to do it closer to the collar. So as you can see, I've cut off the sleeves. There's the other one. And what we're going to do is start working on cutting off the, well, not cutting off the middle, but cutting off um, holes in the middle. So I just drew out where I was going to cut. I turned the shirt inside out. Um, so you won't have to worry about seeing anything on the other side. But because I do have um, a fab fabric pencil, um, it will, um, anything that was marked will wash away. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is just cut these little areas out. I should also tell you not to cut through to the other side, uh, because we're just going to have the pattern just on the front. So be careful, do not cut through both of the fabric. Okay, so I have just cut out all of what was drawn out there. Next, I will try it on and you'll see how it looks. And this is what it was, looks like on. This one I didn't have to wear in like a um, undershirt underneath because it's not too low cut. 